is an exciting day for our district. It's our third annual Innovation Exposition. It's not your everyday science fair. It's an opportunity for students to create projects, work in teams, and uh, prepare to present their projects. So how the day is, last night, the night before, they drop their projects off. We get it set up on tables. They come here. They talk to the community members that are volunteering their time. Then this evening, they will, everyone will come back and join together for some activities. And then we'll go through the awards starting at 6 o'clock, and they'll find out how they place. When I was in the classroom, I taught middle school science, and every year we had to do a science fair. And every year it was the same thing. Different students, same projects, and I got bored, and the kids got bored. I thought to myself, how can we innovate on the science fair and make it more engaging for students? How can we really just bring it into the 21st century? There's not just boring baking soda volcanoes, there's robotics, there's reverse engineering where people get to take stuff apart and put it in a project. People get to invent their own things and then there's science um, fiction writing where you get to write your own stories. So it's not just the same old, same old poof, baking soda volcano. Uh, it's like a science fair, but it has um, multiple categories. So for example, our category is uh, science, environmental, environmental innovation. innovation. So there are six categories that students can compete in. There's invention, environmental innovation, creativity with 3D printing, scientific inquiry, reverse engineering, and science fiction. We've got kids collaborating, we've got kids being creative, we've got kids using critical thinking skills, and lastly we have kids using their communication skills. Kids have to not only create something, but they also have to write about it, they have to be able to speak about it to judges, and they have to be able to uh, explain their thinking. So these are really uh, embodies many of the characteristics of our graduate profile, and, and these kids are all ages from elementary school all the way through high school. And so this year we have 14 schools participating. We had 177 projects submitted, about 280 students district-wide. My favorite part about the Innovation Expo is all of the projects that people brought over, because they, they have some really, really good projects here, uh, including ours, of course. It's really the perfect storm of scientific learning today. I love seeing um, young people that are excited about science and I love the fact that they are really bringing so much to the table from an intellectual standpoint, a creativity standpoint, and also just a passion for changing the world. And that makes me inspired about the future, and the future of Pasadena, but also the future of the world. Yeah.